Since 1997, the national government has called for a decentralized national identity and civil registration program to be rolled out in all the provinces. Following a NEC decision in 1997, the national government in 2013 decided to have a project to issue national ID cards to every citizen. Uh, the most important uh, decision is really trying to account for every individual Papua New Guineans. Provisions for the national ID was included in the Civil Registration Act. In March last year, the PNG Civil and Identity Registry system was launched. It has taken almost two decades to have the program introduced. Morobe is now one of the ten provinces to roll out the concept. All provinces can have the bed registrations uh, conducted and every citizen should be registered in, in the province. That was since 1997. Among other things, this new office will register marriages, deaths, status records and births. It is a legal responsibility, therefore the office is required to record your personal information in order to issue the necessary documents, including the proof of identity and status documents. The instruction is that ID card is now the utility. The National Identity and Civil Registration Program so far has registered 150,000 people and has issued 52,000 national ID cards. The system will also be connected with the payroll system before the end of December. The Department of Personal Management has issued instructions stating that all public servants before being hired will have to have a national ID card. Therefore, all public servants in the country are required to register. Acting Provincial Administrator for Morobe, Masayang Mohat, is appealing to the 1,800 public servants working in the province to register. Mata Luis, National MTV News, Lei.